Stocks versus real estate investing. Investing of any kind is going to come with its pros and cons. This is why you will need to be wary of the kind of investment your money is going in. The smart move, of course, would be to research the kind of venture you are investing your money in. Usually, people opt for two choices, stocks or real estate. If you're one of those who are confused as to which one you should be investing in, then look no further. We will give you a detailed breakdown as to whether you should be investing in stocks or real estate. We will take a look at several aspects, and these aspects make a big contribution to either of the investments in which you're putting your money. So, without further delay, let us look at investing in stocks and investing in real estate to help you decide which one you should be investing in. Number 1. Cash Flow Real Estate The first aspect which we have is cash flow. Whenever you invest in real estate, you buy physical property or land. This will cost you money if you plan to hold it every month. This includes a piece of land on which you will pay costs of maintenance as well as taxes. While waiting to pay off this property to a developer, you will have to pay all kinds of costs that spring up. Real estate rent provides a steady cash flow month by month. Some pieces of real estate are known as cash generating pieces, which include apartments, storage sheds, rental houses, or a mall where you pay for all the different kinds of expenses. Stock investments Stock investments aren't similar to cash flow that would come about from renting out the property in your name. Most of the cash from stocks comes out in the longer term when you end up selling. However, investors are still paid through means of dividends. You can then proceed to reinvest your dividends. If you use the following cash which a company gives you for owning its stock to buy more shares with time, you should own more shares of the following company. This allows you to have a larger chunk of cash dividends. In terms of cash flow, it is the members of a company's board which are elected by stockholders. One of these stockholders you will be. The elected people are the ones who decide how much profit goes back into the expansion process each year and how much dividends are paid. Number 2. Management Costs Real Estate Real estate costs you a lot of money if the property is still unoccupied. You will still be paying taxes, maintenance, insurance, utilities, and other miscellaneous charges. If you end up finding yourself getting a higher vacancy rate than usual, you can lose a lot of money every month. Stock Investments In terms of managing stock investments, you will have to pay brokerage fees for managing your stock investments. These costs are significantly smaller than running a condo or other kinds of real estate investment. Number 3. Required Effort Real Estate Real estate takes a lot of effort if you compare it with stocks. You probably know this since you've read two of the factors above. To further cement this claim, let us look at a few real estate scenarios that might have the potential to swing your investment towards stocks. There could be issues in the middle of the night, such as a leaking pipe or squeaking floor, which you will be dealing with. Since you're the landlord, the tenant cannot make any changes or alterations without your authority. And if you don't deal with these issues promptly, you could be sued as well. Even if you hire a manager who will look at your real estate investments, managing your real estate projects will require you to manage your investment as well as the usual meetings that take place. Stock Investments In terms of efforts required to maintain your stock, you buy the chunk of a company when buying shares of stock. If a company has 50 shares and you buy 5 shares of this company, then you have 10% of this company. Usually, the number isn't this low, but we've used this explanation for understanding purposes. Owning stocks is unlike running a small business on your own. Owning a chunk of a business using shares of stock doesn't require you to put in most of your effort. The most you have to do is research the company to decide whether it is a valuable investment or not. You can also end up benefiting from the company's results, but the best part is that you don't have to come to work every day. Do it where you're comfortable. Number 4. Volatile or not? Real Estate in terms of volatility, real estate investments are seen as an inflation hedge. This is to protect against a loss in the purchasing power of the United States dollar. Whereas real estate goes down over the years in specific areas, most investors who see this happening manage to sell their investment before they end up losing their money. Stock Investments Stock prices go through rapid fluctuations in a shorter period. Your stock price can manage to dip or rise. As long as you know why you have the shares that you do, you shouldn't be having any problems. You can make use of this opportunity and buy more shares if you think the ones you have are cheap. 
You can also sell those shares if you feel like they're expensive. If you hold on to the stocks which have high value in the long run, then these fluctuations will be smoothed out soon enough. On the other hand, if you plan to make money quicker, then stock volatility might work against your favor. A quick reminder, if you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing, as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. Number 5. Liquidity Real Estate When you own a chunk of real estate and you need to sell it for cash, then it can end up taking at least a month. You will have to list real estate for some time. This could take days, months, or even years before finding the right buyer. Once you do find a buyer, your property will day escrow, during which there will be inspections and document checks carried out. Transferring of funds will take place before you hand over the property to the seller. Stock Investments When we talk about investing money, liquidity helps you get cash out of your investment with ease. Stocks are more liquid compared to real estate investments. It might take you a few days to see the proceeds, but you can manage to get out of your investment whatever you'd like. Number 6. Diversifying Real Estate Real estate and stocks provide a decent financial gain on your earnings and risk when they talk. It comes down to it. When you choose the right investment for yourself, the best move would be to hedge against the risk while using potential gains to your advantage. This will allow you to diversify as per your liking. When investing in real estate, you will have a few properties in your hands. This will make it harder for you to diversify on your end. But the major part of diversification is that you will need to carefully choose your property's locations and make sure you've studied the property you are willing to buy. Stock Investments With stocks, you can diversify much better, especially when we're talking about mutual funds. Mutual funds are carefully chosen stocks to add diversity to your portfolio. Number 7. Access Real Estate as for real estate, it requires you to put more money into an initial investment and the costs that come with maintenance and improvements. Real estate investment trusts, or REITs, have surged in popularity. They allow more people to combine their money to purchase real estate. Stock Investments You don't need large amounts of cash available if you're willing to invest in the stock market. Using some individual stocks or mutual funds, you can invest as minimum as $100 per month. Several micro-savings apps allow you to invest as little as $25. Pros and Cons Finally, we move on to the pros and cons of real estate investment versus stock investments. Real Estate Real estate investors can gain leverage on their invested money to take advantage of substantial tax benefits. Although real estate isn't as liquid compared to the stock market, the cash flow, in the long run, provides an excellent passive income as well as an appreciation promise. You can also secure a reasonable down payment if you aren't making entire cash deals. For the cons, one thing that real estate doesn't offer you that much is liquidity. You can't rely on selling your properties immediately when you might be in need. The other disadvantages include costs associated with property management and the amount of time that goes into repair and maintenance. That could be a headache if you're not looking to go into all the intricate details. Stock Investments it doesn't take a large amount of cash to get started in the market for several investors. Stocks are liquid and can easily be bought and sold, so most people rely on them during emergency times. With several stocks and exchange-traded funds, or ETFs which you can choose from, you need to make a few intelligent moves to have a diversified portfolio. Stocks are also more volatile than real estate, making them a far riskier investment. Don't fall into the trap of panic selling because your stocks may result in a capital gain tax which will make your tax burden even heavier. Unless you have a lot of money invested in the market, your stocks might not see much growth. These are two potential investments that can bring about diversification in your portfolio and also help you make generational wealth if you're successful in making the right moves. The reason we speak of the right moves is that you can very easily go into loss if your investment isn't backed by the right amount of research. Research the right stock or real estate, whichever investment you plan to make, and then simply just be patient. Patience is going to help you go a long way because you won't make thousands of dollars overnight. So research and patience, and you're good to go. This is where we come to the end of the discussion about which one of the two, stocks or real estate, would work out to be a better investment for you. If you ever get stuck somewhere, you can always head to this guide to get better guidance. 
We wish you luck in your investment journey.